Hello guys, and welcome to my garden tour. This is actually my first garden that I've done on my own, and I wanted to document where I am so far in the process, and hopefully where I'll be taking it as well. All around, it's been such a sweet experience, and especially an incredible way to literally get my hands dirty, and just a way to learn how to grow incredible food. So without further ado, I will share with you guys what I've planted so far, what I am planning on planting moving forward, and the things that I am learning because I am learning oh so much. So not only can you guys watch it, but I can look back on it and see hopefully how I progress. So I'll show you my garden. So first up is my lavender plant, which I recently stuck into this corner semi rock and flower garden that I've made. I'm not sure I put enough drainage as the flowers have started to wilt a little but I am keeping an eye on it and will probably actually replant it. Next up are these cute little tiny rubies also known as dianthus. When looking for flowers I was looking for perennials that would last longer than a single season and found these little guys. They have super lush greenery and its flowers have been rotating where some die off and then others come into bloom. And then these little guys I planted from seed and they're called Sweet Elysium. I think I said that right, or Carpet of Snow. So as you can see, some of them aren't looking so hot because of the frost we had a couple nights this week, but I'm happy to say that some are still thriving. When they grow fully, they'll have these super tiny and pretty white flowers and I will most definitely share an update. And so after the flowers, you can see here is where I planted my carrots. They're supposed to come up within five to seven days. It's been about three or four, so we'll see. And right next to it is my single green bean plant that made it after the frost the past few nights. So I have one green bean plant, the other ones died, but that's one of the lessons that I learned is learning what plants can actually make it through the night um, when there's frost and which ones need more help. They grow really fast, so I'm gonna just grow some more and we'll keep track of those a bit better. So onto my second raised bed, I have planted some chives, Brussels sprouts, some incredibly lush lettuce, a very small batch of spinach, and then broccoli. Everything here except the very sad looking spinach were bought at a garden center as tiny little plants, and it has been so thrilling seeing their growth so far. Unfortunately, because of the frost, um, I also lost my tomato plants and my pepper plants, so that was a huge bummer. But the tomatoes were right here. I am probably going to replace them either with more tomato plants or as I have a lot of seeds I can find something else to plant. And lastly on to my third raised bed, there's a bare space where I recently planted some shriveled but rooting potatoes to see how they would do, some more spinach which is far more impressive than the batch in the second bed, and some lovely rhubarb which I'm very excited to bake with, and then my peony plants. These are Chinese peonies that used to be my grandma's and that my mom transplanted when my grandma passed away and then my mom passed them on to me. So they're like an heirloom plant. They're doing so well. I'm so happy that I transplanted them well. Exquisite. <laughs> so I would say my biggest takeaway from this experience so far as my first gardening on my own <laughs> outside experience is even if you're nervous and you're afraid of failing just start because you're never gonna get better you're never gonna learn if you don't if you don't become okay with messing up the learning process never ends I am learning so much again I've like made so many mistakes but I would love to share this experience with you guys I'm very much looking forward to seeing even from now and then going into the future, even next year, what the big difference between this year's garden is to next year's garden. So um, please, please, please try it. Just try it. And uh, if I can do it, you can do it. So thanks so much for coming on my little
little garden tour. I'm gonna do my best to keep you guys updated and if there's something else that you'd like to see in the future, let me know. Um, and specifically, I will do my best to not have a shadow covering my eyes in the future. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for joining me if you made it this far in the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.